What is up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. This is going to be an installment into the segment with album reactions. So this is going to be the first metal album to do a reaction on. And I'm going to be looking into the new album from the band Wilderun entitled Epigon. Now, this is going to be my very first actual time discovering this band and with this album. So, this is going to be my first time big reaction to this album. I'm going to speed the video up when I hear the music because of not getting the video copyrighted as much as I can. And after this video, there will be a full in-depth review of this album. This is their latest album and it's released through Century Media Records. And I am looking forward to this. So, there are some tracks from the band's YouTube channel that some of the tracks have been edited but having said that that's not going to really bother me that much because I'm going to be going into this album and I know that there are two bonus tracks one of them being a Radiohead cover but I'm just going to go into the nine tracks on the record and let's dive in first time Wilderun Epigon let's dive in track number one is Exhaler. Very gentle and soft calming vocals starts things acoustically which I am enjoying the nice warm sound <laughs> There are some really gentle backing vocal harmonies that does match so comfortably and hearing the sound of the strings in the background as well presents things at a smooth, folky type of pace. <laughs> I may be right or wrong here, but I believe when I listen to these types of playing styles on acoustic music, I think that the tuning maybe for this is in an open tuning. I don't believe it's in standard, unless they put a capo for whatever type of key and tuning these guitars were set at. But so far, this track is sweet. That's all I would say about this at the moment. I like that very brief, quick change of tone and key at that part and hearing some more of the uh, orchestrations and strings for example it has a sweetly not too dramatic but a well balanced uh, array of its arrangements <laughs> Now it's building up to the second track of the album, World Gatherer. Very nice one. Exhaler, I think, is a nice starting point. Drinking cups of tea. So I'm going to be setting up the mood for what's to come for the next track. Track two, which is World Gatherer. <laughs> Thought it was going to be erupting with a bang after that loud, brief set of noises right at the end of Exhaler. But it's just now changing things back down. Where 
There we go. So we are now hearing the whole band in action. So opening wise to this track, pretty much on a similar uh, vein as Exhaler, it had some sweet panning effects from the guitars in the background and still delivers in that acoustic form. But I wonder what this track is going to be like now that the whole band's here. I like that. I do like that uh, small snippet of the stop, start, pausing type of moments there. Oh, okay. It's now booming into the blast beats and harsher vocals. Absolutely strong type of style in the vocal department. I can see why that some people will say that these types of sounds on vocals remind them on uh, Michael Ackelfeld from Opeth, but I can't blame them for that. And I think that Opeth has been quite a big influence, but I'm going to find some other similarities of other bands but that blast beat howling section involving those big strings that is excellent <laughs> These transitions from the structure of this track at the moment is really absorbing so comfortably and I'm almost at the six minute mark, uh, pretty much close to halfway through of the song, but I am digging this. <laughs> This is incredibly impressive and from the start of the track to where I'm at right now this is quite a progressive number and I will hear some more of these types of influences and the diversity that a band like Wilderon can really achieve something and it's quite a transitional peak uh, in terms of the array of songwriting and I think this one, composition-wise, is a lot to dive in, but I really like it. There's some more growing intensity at this bit. I am really intrigued by what is going to happen. There's a massive amount of control onto that part of the track. Amazing skill and a precise fruition of a guitar solo. The drumming is so intact. That is full of dexterity to resonate and syncopate everything. Mm -hmm. 
This composition is awesome. Very, very good track. There's so much of these transitions that each piece follows and flows together. The second half of this track is completely building up so much more despair and intensity, as I've said. But there's a lot to dive in with everything that's been going on. World Gatherer is very, very strong of a track. I can see why that some people will say this is one of the best, or maybe the best track on the album. Excellent stuff. Track number three, the radio edit music video version, unfortunately, of Passenger. <laughs> There's us. Oh man, that is a brilliant start. I'm sorry that I couldn't speak right at that that point there, but this is so dramatic, and it's building a craft that I have not heard anything of this before. But there's a lot of musicianship going on all at once. And much props to the band. I wonder what the rest of the structure is going to be like. Even the vocal tone onto the growls, as I've mentioned previously, it's such a great and quite huge addition part into the heaviness of this band so far. I can see why there's so many people at this point do regard this band as amazing. <laughs> This track, Passenger, great, absolutely great. It's massive in a big way of growing so much of the passion. There's tons of wonderful skills. It has quite an imagery. That's what I like about this band so far. Track number four which is Identifier. Again, had to play through a music video. Here we go. There was a wonderful part there that there's some interaction where the guitar follows the melody 
and hear the strings in the background while the drums were keeping everything in a tight space when the whole band bursts in. What I like about this track, Identifier, so far is that, like the previous tracks that I've heard, there's lots more of the cleaner aspects of exploring a vocal performance in, in separate ranges. And while there were lots of stuff going on onto tracks like Wall Gatherer and Passenger as well, is that there's tons of interplay, tons of interplay and... While I also have not been a big avid listener of metal in this type of symphonic way, especially like I know a few bands like Flesh God Apocalypse, for example, but uh, I don't mind this particular style of, of metal genre. But from what I've been hearing on Wilderum, especially on something like this, I am impressed. <laughs> Oh shit! What a brutal move for being at first, arguably to my mind, the most melodic arrangement from the first half of this track. And like I said, it's on the radio edit version because, you know, there are longer versions of some of these tracks. But Identifier follows each piece so naturally and there's not even one thing that I had questions with. Another really good one. So track number five, which is Ambition. I bet this is really like the intermission or interlude part of the album. It's like 20 seconds close to 3 minutes in length. So I, I, I bet this is like the, the halfway point of the album. Very disturbingly creepy and a dark setting. This is a type of brief composition where it has its own vision. It expresses something. And while I am a big fan of experimental music, this is kind of like, uh, I would say, a dark, dark ambient music concrete type of composition. <laughs> Just as a twisted, unsettling move of the, of a piece like this, which leads on to track number six to the first part of Distraction, again through a music video. Weirdly enough, that beginning of this track, instant Devin Townsend vibe. I don't know why, but it's just something like it. 
Now, that does not mean that the rest of the track and this album is like what Devin does, but it just popped into my head. These clean vocals, while these blaring loud chords are just blasting on, is wonderful. I am resonating with it pretty much from the start. Before I continue right there, where you hear such a huge choir type of sound of that bit there, the chorus to match up with the verses is just a great transition. It's a beautiful, well-paced flow of a track. And I, I just can't help but to, to think of Devin, yet alone that... I know some people will be complaining about other people doing comparisons, but that's what is, to me, a big thing. And by comparing it, it doesn't always need to be in a negative way, because these guys are inspired by many other bands and artists. And to really think of something as dedicated and inspired, you will immediately hear something that may be similar to you, but not in a negative way. But other than that, the, the chorus is glorious. And strangely enough, back to Devin, the chorus on this track is something maybe like on a slower style from maybe Ocean Machine. But anyway, back to this. <laughs> Okay, this moves into the second part of Distraction, Distraction 2. That was a blasting start. I think that is amazing. Just a tight and frenetic, big beginning. And then to quickly transition to some more softer elements. And distraction number two really decides to change things. Just like the previous one. <laughs> For those who have heard of this album, uh, well, by the time this video is out, I want to know which half of the album is your favourite. The first half is really, really great. But now that I'm into the second half, I may change my opinion. But with most of the tracks going on from the start to, well, near the... Uh, the end for me but uh, this album this album is so much deliverance and great chemistry <laughs> Oh, 
Holy shit! <laughs> that part I did not expect. It just went faster and faster and faster. It's just reached its breaking point to the po to the point that it's it's maddening. But they are still connected and intact. Every single piece, every single bandmate to reach that moment. I just left them to it. For me, the heaviest part of the, uh, the big piece of distraction so far. I wonder what the uh, last two are going to be. So, yeah, track number eight, which is the third part for the track of distraction. So, I am ready. This has a calmer and meditative ambient texture at the moment of this piece. And I bet that they are still going to explore. This is as explored as what I can really think of for the album. <laughs> I have to give props to the orchestration, the people that have worked with this band for this album. The tone of these sounds of instruments, while it is sometimes rare to hear a separate beauty surrounding this type of, of genre of classical composition through a metal project or a metal band at all. Just to hear orchestrations, it sets a different emotion. The guitar playing on this track is majestic. It's tone as well, and when it syncopates along with the orchestra is brilliant. I am so like in awe because that this is the kind of thing that it's it's just an expression to change things, but to continue to deliver in any aspect. And I thought this was just going to go back into the intensity, but uh, after Distraction 2, this is like a total difference. <laughs> Next track, Distraction, Nuller, and the uh, other two last tracks after this are the Radiohead cover and Just Exhaler, the bonus track uh, synth mix. I'm just going to go into this one to really think of it as the finale part of the album. There's a bit of a soundscape type of fruition at this point. I think it's like another dark ambient piece to finalise the record, but really like the, the reverb packed type of tone for the guitars. <laughs> As I've just said that, the band just burst in. <laughs> B 
this is a monster of uh, a cacophony to close things out in terms of the original part of the music. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so after that bombastic blast of noise, that was Wilderun's new album, Epigon. So, this album is going to have to go through some more replays in mind for me to really go into a full, in-depth review on. But, I think this is a really, really good adventurous direction of an album. So impressed with the band. And I know that it's a long reaction, but uh, I just think this discovery to hear the band for the first time, for me at least, was great. It was a great addition to the list of new albums for me to review. Anyways, I'm not going to go on too long because I, I'm going to be doing my album review on this. So, Wilderun, awesome band. Awesome band from Boston, Massachusetts. Please check out this band if you haven't already. And do check their discography as well. So that is it. My reaction done for Wilder, Wilderun's band... Uh, album thing <laughs> of uh epigon i almost fucked up there but that's a wrap thank you guys for watching and i'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future